It is so rewarding to have won this record, especially after cutting off 20 hours from the previously established record time by Group Armour 3. I am so happy that I've done it with my partner, Jan Guichard. We bought the boat in February, put it in the water in July, and now, November, and we've managed to win our first record. To be honest, the hardest work is all done by the team, the technical crew, all the spin drift racing people. It's such an experience, an enormous human adventure, and yes, hugely exciting. Yes, uh, I'm so happy uh, we did a good time reference. Six days, 14 hours and 29 minutes. It's a, it's a good one and it was not easy to, 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 catch, to catch it because uh, the condition, the weather was not really easy. It was really strong wind at the start. Uh, downwind with a big wave, a big swell of four or five meters with 30 knots, 35 knots average speed. Ellen MacArthur has gone around the world and done it solo, but I don't think she'll be the first or the last. It's true that doing it on a big multi-hull like this, for the Bank Populaire record, won't be easy to beat either. With Discovery Route, though, we're starting to think about beating the record. You need serious concentration at the rudder because you go really quickly. You can get up to 35 to 40 knots, so you've got to really concentrate at the bar. It's an incredible feeling that you just don't get on other boats. So the track for this uh, Route de la Découverte, uh, the same course... This course, the Route of Discovery, the very same one made by Christopher Columbus 500 years ago, sets off from Cadiz in Spain. After leaving the Canaries on the right, it's off to cross the Atlantic. So long, long course until... And it's a long voyage from San Salvador to the Bahamas. Obviously for me a first uh, crossing, so even more emotional and uh, really happy. Everything okay back there, Jan? Yes? Not under pressure? It's not easy. We can't go much faster with these waves. Does everyone organise their own food or is there a roster? No, it's organised. Xavier has a little menu board that he writes the menu of the day on. And then, whoever's turn it is, heats up the water, preps everything, including the freeze-dried stuff. Depending on the sea, you need about an hour to get everything ready for 14 people. Where are we going after lunch? Right. After we've eaten, we'll be starting our third day. And nearly 600 miles from the Canaries. Group Amma 3 always has a good advantage and we're looking to keep it. Wind is 22 knots, which isn't so strong. And yep, we're hoping to go ahead as best and as quickly as possible. We're on day four of the race and almost right in the middle of the Atlantic in the anticyclonic area where the trade winds blow. The wind's not bad today, 22 to 23 knots. We're going well and we've got about half day's advantage on Group Armour right here. Look. You could have kept that to fish with. And we could have eaten it tonight. We're going to be in the depression zone in the next 36 hours, and it'll be interesting to see how we come out of it. We stand to lose some hours there if we come into contact with air pockets. We can only wait and be ready. Oh, 
conditions un petit peu différentes du... So conditions are a little different from the lake. Can you tell us some of those differences? La différence, c'est que tu vois rien en vue. Depuis des jours, on n'a même pas croisé de cargo. Well, the main difference is that you don't see anything for days on end, not even cargo ships. Maybe flying fish, but that's about it. The sea is an indescribably blue colour. It's magnificent. Sunrise and sunset are just majestic, beautiful. The alarm clock has been set. We've navigated through the squalls. We were all on the bridge, but I think everyone was more grumpy about the fact they had to get up 15 minutes earlier than normal. We've had 12 hours of squalls now and sailing isn't easy. The winds are still high and there's not much time between one squall and another. Our direction isn't very stable either, or we aren't exactly going in a straight line either. The last 24 hours towards the Bahamas will be fairly fast. It's also true that the hardest part is going to be the next 15 hours too. It's going to be challenging and stressful because we're right in the middle of these squalls. So aren't you tired? No, not so much. We've only got a straight stretch to go, and less than 40 hours of the race left to win the record. We're all on the bridge now, but no one's going to forget about eating and resting a bit. Sure.